<laughs> Hello everyone, my name is uh, Konrad. I'm from Castu International Office uh, in Poland and today we'll have a webinar with uh, Tilburg University from the Netherlands. Uh, we have with us today Dennis and Adam who will be talking a lot uh, about uh, Tilburg University, uh, lots of interesting things about uh, uh, how to study and uh, different aspects of studying and uh, application for Tilburg University. Uh, just a few words about the university is, uh, it is a prestigious university in, uh, in, in the Netherlands and uh, it's a traditional university. It's not a university of applied sciences, but I think uh, Dennis will come into more into details about that. So yeah, let's welcome our guests, uh, Dennis and Adam, could you just say a few words about yourself and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, the floor is yours. All right, of course. Uh, welcome everybody to this webinar. Um, uh, my name is Dennis Bas. Um, I'm now working for around about 13 years for this university. Uh, started off uh, at a school. Now I'm working at the marketing uh, and recruitment department. And now um, I'm a strategist for uh, uh, the university for international marketing and recruitment. I'm sitting here together with Adam. Maybe Hi, can... my name is Adam Dzidzic. I'm originally from Poland um, and I've been here for four years. I did my bachelor's here in global management of social issues and now I'm finishing up a master in um, organization studies. So it's, it's a great pleasure to, to be with you. Yeah, and Adam uh, will later on will uh, uh, tell a little bit about his uh, experiences um, here in the Netherlands, but also uh, during his studies. Um, that will be a little bit at the end. Uh, of course, uh, as you can see on the right side, uh, you have the possibility to ask us questions. Not 100% sure if I will uh, be able to answer them during the uh, presentation, but I will. Uh, I, I can see the, the questions, so um, if possible, I will refer to them. Um, but the idea now today is to give you a little bit of an overview uh, about our uh, university and especially about our master's programs. So, um, um, yeah, so let, let, let's start for now. And um, yeah, and if you have any questions, please ask them. So a little bit about um, the city. Uh, I, I assume that all of you know the Netherlands, uh, this little country on the, uh, in Western Europe. Um, it's one of the smallest countries of, the, of Western Europe, uh, um, but still it has almost 17 million people uh, living in the Netherlands. And Tilburg itself uh, is the sixth big city. So as you can see on the map, uh, you see Amsterdam, you see The Hague and Rotterdam and Utrecht. Those are the big four, uh, basically. Um, they are more uh, mostly uh, uh, in the west part of the Netherlands. Although, uh, to give you a little bit of an idea about the distances, um, if you travel from Tilburg to Amsterdam, it will take you approximately one hour and 20 minutes by train. Uh, the Hague is also a little bit more than an hour. Rotterdam is uh, uh, less than 40 minutes. So uh, um, to give you a little bit of an idea, uh, we are a very small country. We do not pretend to be bigger than that. Uh, but basically, uh, uh, it doesn't matter where in Tilburg you're studying. Um, it's easy to, 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 to travel from one place to another, especially because uh, all the big cities uh, and, and all the even smaller cities are very well connected by train stations. For Tilburg, it's also nice to know that it's close to Eindhoven and Eindhoven Airport. So um, Eindhoven Airport is becoming increasingly increasingly important uh, as a, a, an airport that uh, uh, moves uh, the people here around to uh, destinations within Europe. So uh, I do think that Eindhoven has some, some direct connections with at least Poland. Um, but they also, I mean, uh, going to Schiphol Airport uh, close to Amsterdam also uh, take a little bit more than an hour from Tilburg. So um, to give you an idea, the Netherlands is small. Um, the good thing about Tilburg is it's very well located, uh, uh, a little bit under the center, but close to the main cities uh, uh, in the country. Also, by the way, very close to the, the big cities in Belgium, like Antwerp and Brussels, and Germany, uh, close to Cologne and Dusseldorf. So just for your information. I think zoom in a little bit more about Tilburg, then um, go to the next slide and you can see that Tilburg itself has uh, 200,000 uh, inhabitants and uh, out of these uh, 200 inhabitants, it's about 28,000 are students. So uh, Tilburg, the city itself, has two 
uh, well, actually three universities, one research universities, and that's Tilburg University is the one that I represent here. Uh, Tilburg also has two universities of applied sciences, um, uh, Fontes and Avance. So they uh, have also their buildings in uh, uh, the city. And the total uh, amount of students here in, in Tilburg is about 28,000. So um, that basically has a, has a very big impact, especially on the uh, city center uh, as well, because basically the whole city is, is very well equipped for having a lot of students in the city. I mean, you can see that that, that uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, places are very focused on students. So you have all these little uh, uh, restaurants where we can eat for uh, uh, relatively cheap. Um, there's a lot of uh, places where you can go out, uh, also very much focused on students. Um, so yeah, and it's only, you know, the city center is, is, is a small 20 uh, uh, minutes, actually 15 minutes uh, bicycle uh, uh, ride to the university. So the university itself is in the western part of Tilburg. Um, city center is only 15 minutes away. So that's just to give you a little bit of idea. Um, what I do like to say, I think that, that, that a lot of people in the world know um, uh, Amsterdam, Rotterdam maybe, and The Hague quite well. Um, Tilburg is a little bit more unknown, so that's why um, I would like to show you a little video uh, about Tilburg City. And uh, Conrad, if you can play it, then. Ah, right. So this video gave you hopefully a little bit of an impression about the uh, about the city of Tilburg. Um, as I already mentioned before, um, the the universities in in the in the western side of Tilburg. Uh, keep in mind that Tilburg is still relatively small, so everything within Tilburg is within bicycle distance of around twenty minutes. So uh, if you live in the city center, go to the university, it will take you twenty minutes. Um, so it's not really east and middle and center and, uh, and west is not that far from each other. That's, that's just for you to know. It doesn't matter if you live in the city center or in, in the east, still the university is uh, relatively close. So our university itself was founded in 1927 as a business school. So uh, it used to be very focused on business and you will see that now uh, at our university as well. The, 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 our uh, business and uh, our school of business and economics is still our uh, biggest school at the university. Uh, but these days we have like five uh, uh, schools on campus, um, like the, the, the School of Social and Behavioral Sciences, uh, the Law School, um, also a School of Humanities and Digital Sciences, and we also have a very small uh, theology department. At the moment we have about 15,750 students. Um, this is a big difference with, with uh, like three, four years ago. Um, when we had around 13,000. So we, we grow uh, very fast in the last couple of years. 
um, basically has to do uh, uh, for us with the uh, um, expenditure of our international uh, bachelor's and master's programs. <coughs> so at the moment now we have more than, than 60 uh, international programs. Uh, the amount of international students is more than 3,000 at the moment, and we also have more than 100 nationalities. So our my team basically uh, really much focuses on the, the, the marketing and recruitment of our international programs for international uh, students. And we basically recruit all over the world, uh, basically to make sure that, that the, the students that come here will have a, a, a sense of a real international experience. Um, we do not have the idea to have only uh, students from Europe or only students from, from uh, a small uh, amount of countries. No, we really want to make sure that it's a really a, 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 um, a very mixture of nationalities here at campus. So that's why we, at the moment we have uh, more than 100. So why would you choose Tilburg University? Of course, uh, there are many options and there are many uh, different universities that you can decide to go to. Um, for us, it's, it's, it's one of the things that, that we are strong at is, is, is uh, the fact that all our programs are uh, um, teaching about uh, global issues. So if you are going to do any of our programs here, um, the, the things that you get taught uh, are not about the Dutch situation or about uh, um, uh, the, the, for example, uh, how the economics in, in the Netherlands works or Dutch law or whatever, or something like that. Now, the idea is that it doesn't matter where you're from, um, um, where you're from, but but you will not be teached about the, the Dutch situation only. It will always be more like a, a global issue or an international issue. Um, so I think that's that's one of the important things. So the idea behind that is also that if you go back with your degree from Tilburg University, you can also use it in your situation uh, back in uh, uh, Lithuania or in Poland. Um, it's not in that sense uh, uh, tied to the Netherlands. Um, we have high quality education, of course. We are ranked in, in, the, uh, in the in the big three rankings. I will show you a little bit later. Um, Good professors. Uh, we always do well in, in national surveys like the uh, Keuzegit survey or what we have here, the, 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 the national student uh, uh, survey at the university. We always score really well, uh, always top three universities in the Netherlands uh, on almost all these different subjects. So I think this is a really important thing also for you guys as, uh, as students since um, these, 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 these surveys are, are filled in by also students that are studying uh, here at our university. So uh, that is compared with all the other universities in, uh, uh, in the Netherlands. Um, university itself is a, is, a, is a really campus university. So uh, all of the buildings um, are, let's say, uh, within uh, 400 meters of, of each other. They are all in the same area next to a very big forest. And that's why we uh say that we uh are a green campus uh basically because the half of the university almost is in the woods here um so it's very nice and very relaxing especially after a long day of studying or a long day of classes that you can go outside especially today it's, it's a beautiful uh weather in the netherlands at the moment very sunny uh, but you can spend some time in the woods just to to clear your mind and to to, to clear your thoughts well i mentioned already a little bit the international environment we have more than 100 different nationalities, more than 3,000 international students. Uh, all our services are also uh, uh, focused uh, uh, not only on Dutch students, but of course also on international students. So it is, uh, uh, um, you know, you, you you will not have the feeling that 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 you will have to go through all Dutch things. The, uh, the university itself is is everything you can can, can see here is in English. So uh, that is never a problem. Um, Next to it, lots of opportunities for extracurricular activities, uh, programs that, that, that offer uh, internships. You have programs that offer uh, 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 clinics or uh, uh, games or uh, something like that. So that's, that's, that's extracurricular, but uh, still close to the, uh, to the program that you chose. Um, also, there's a lot of uh, uh, activities organized by uh, student associations and most of the, the the courses have their own student associations, but you also have student associations connected to cultural things or uh, sports uh, or basically the fact that you are students. So um, there's enough to do next to your um, uh, uh, studies itself. 
We have the opportunity, of course, for student counseling. I think that, that that's, you will see at most of the universities, uh, including ours. So especially in the beginning, when you just hear everything is new, if you need some help uh, in order to, to plan your studies or uh, uh, you don't know exactly what to do with all the freedom that you now have since you do not, uh, since you live abroad far from, from family and friends, um, then a student counselor can help you and guide you a little bit on the way to um, become the best uh, person of yourself here at our university. Um, mentioned we are a leader in the fields of business and economics and um, in the world basically uh, I, I will show that a little bit later on our um, slide of our rankings um, on your masters as, as well as your bachelors you can also do uh, exchanges um, we have more than 250 partners all around the world so even if you want to extend uh, your master a little bit uh, with an extra half a year for an international internship or for uh, an exchange um, then that is possible. Uh, extra facilities is a career center. So if you would like to uh, stay in the Netherlands after your uh, uh, studies, then uh, the career center can help you uh, with some workshops, but also with their network in order to uh, get in touch with the companies uh, all around this area uh, um, of, of the university. Um, so there are some, some options that you can prepare yourself uh, for the Dutch labor market. We also have a language center, so you can even learn Dutch, uh, but next to Dutch also around 10 other languages like um, German or French or Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Chinese, and even Arabic. So um, if you want to do that next to your studies, that's possible, and it doesn't cost you anything. So it's free, free of charge. Um, last one, at least, we also have a very modern sports center here on campus. Um, it's very close to, 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 to the uh, education facility, so it's, it's about five to ten minutes walk. Then you are at the sports center and you can make use of any of the more than 70 different sports that they offer uh, uh, at the sports centers, including like the, the, the soccer and basketball and tennis and hockey, um, etc. So there are many uh, different sports options. And of course, they have a fitness center as well um, where you can. Uh, uh, well, um, push the barbels uh, if you have the time between classes. So I already mentioned it a little bit, rankings and accreditations. Um, moment, I mean, I think these are the, the most uh, uh, known uh, rankings in the world. It's times higher. It's the formerly known as Shanghai ranking and it's QS ranking. Um, as you can see, uh, our university struggles a little bit sometimes to, to get high in, in uh, the more uh, overall rankings. Um, basically, it has to do with the fact that we only have five schools. So um, we are not a, what they call a comprehensive university. We are very specialized in university. So we have uh, very focused on business and economics and law and social sciences and humanities. But uh, we do not have medicine. We do not have engineering. We do not have like... Uh, um, the hardcore sciences like chemistry or natural sciences or, or mathematics in, in that way. And then it's really difficult to get a very high uh, uh, overall ranking. So still, um, I think uh, what we do, uh, uh, that, that, that we do have good rankings, and especially if you zoom in on our um, uh, subject rankings, especially in uh, economics and business and in law and, and uh, times higher, but also, as you can see, in most of the programs, uh, or most of the subjects, we are top 100 in the world. So um, think about that as well. If, you, if you're looking for uh, your education, um, that it's not only about the general rankings, also about the subject rankings, because they basically decide whether a uh, university is very well in a certain uh, subject. Uh, um, and I think if you are going to study law or social sciences, this is something that you really want to know before you start at the university. So I mentioned already a few of the services that we have for international students. Um, we do have accommodation support. Um, don't know if you're aware of that, but in the Netherlands now we, we kind of struggle uh, all the, the university cities with uh, accommodation for students. Um, I do think that Tilburg is still one of the places that is it's compared to, to the other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can uh, say something about that later on. Um, it's, it's, it's a little bit easier to find something and also for a very decent price. I mean, if you compare it to, to, to uh, Rotterdam or to Amsterdam, um, it can be easily going up to 800, 900 euros for a very 
small room uh, in a student house. Um, here in Tilburg, you can still find relatively uh, something nice for around, let's say, 340 uh, until 440. Uh, university itself also offers, together with some some uh, or some some uh, housing agencies, uh, accommodation for international students. They cost around 460, and I think they also have a little bit more expensive um, uh, ones uh, uh, as well. But uh, keep in mind, they are all fully furnished. Uh, furnished. Um, they also include most of the time water, electricity, Wi-Fi, and all those kinds of things. So um, you don't basically need to do anything in order to, to, to live well there. So that's, I think, a good thing. Um, immigration services, of course, we have that, although you do not need them as a European students. Uh, we also offer a summer school each summer. Um, the program of the summer school is, is it changes uh, yearly. So um, if you go to a website, and it's, I think it's around tilburguniversity.edu slash summer school, then you will find a program of the current summer school, the, the ones that we will offer in August. Uh, or July, August this year. So if you're interested, you know, in, in just a, a short course, then uh, I can really uh, encourage you to take a look at the, the Tilburg University Summer School as well. Um, for the international students and um, for all the international students, we offer special arrival days in August. And that's uh, most of the time two days, mostly on, on Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, this is are the days where most all international students arrive here. Um, once you got uh, admitted to any of our programs, you will get uh, uh, up to date uh, about those arrival days. Uh, also, the top week and, uh, and the week after. But basically, the arrival days are meant for students to um, to take care of all your um, administrative things to become fully registered at the university. So, besides, you'll also, of course, also meet all the people that are. Uh, uh, will be there for you to, throughout the year. Um, you also meet, uh, you know, uh, the, the students associations. Um, if you got housing via uh, the university, we also will give you your your keys here. You, you'll be able to open up a bank account uh, because the banks are, are here at the university as well. And also you can uh, have the opportunity to buy a bicycle because that is, of course, still one of our main uh, ways of transportation here in the Netherlands. So that's also something you can already buy on, your, on the day of arrival. So the idea behind it is that after that particular day that that that, uh, um, that you are set in order to start your program at the university. Then the week after, uh, so what I mentioned on Thursdays and Fridays is arrival day. On Monday, uh, we normally start with the top week. And this week is basically an introduction to Tilburg, the university, uh, and that's organized by uh, a student association here in, 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 in Tilburg, the, the top association. And they make sure that, that you'll be well integrated here in the Netherlands, but also in the city. That you know exactly, uh, um, uh, well, basically it's a showcase about uh, uh, Tilburg and the university. So it's most the uh, focused on social uh, part of it, um, social part of life. Um, but I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great way to, to meet new friends, to know who you're studying with, uh, who your classmates will be, et cetera. So that, that's something I really would encourage everybody to, to, uh, to make use of um, uh, once they decided to, to start here at the university. And last but not least, we also have a buddy system together with IEZN. Um, basically means that, that if you need one, uh, or if you think hey, it would be useful to know somebody here in the Netherlands or who knows the Netherlands quite well, uh, then you will be appointed a buddy and this buddy can help you, for example, if you need a doctor and you don't know exactly how it works to contact the doctor and how the whole system works, then uh, a buddy uh, uh, can help you with that. So most of the time they will be available for, for, by phone or you can meet them up and have a coffee or you know, in order to, to uh, they, they will do everything to help you in order to make sure that you integrate well here. So let's go to the next slide. So now I'm going to give you a roundup of all the programs that we offer. Um, of course, I do not have the time uh, uh, to, sh to tell you everything about each of the programs, um, but I, I'm, 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 I'm I will just give you an overview and then later on I will uh, tell you a little bit more where to find more uh, in-depth details about each of these programs. 
So as I mentioned before, we have five different schools and all these schools, uh, uh, they offer certain programs. So these are the master programs of economics and management. As you can see, it's, it's uh, very comprehensive when it comes to all the programs in economics and management. So um, it's, it's basically all there is you can find on the, the, the field of business. And as you see at the last two uh, courses, they are a little bit uh, uh, different. Those are uh, what we call the research masters uh, in business, one, one in business and one in economics. And these programs, they uh, prepare you uh, in order to become a PhD afterwards. So if you compare uh, the research masters uh, with the uh, more uh, general masters, then research masters are always two years. It's a little bit more difficult to get into those uh, master's programs. But once you get in and you you are good at it, then there's a chance <coughs> that you will um, uh, be able to get a PhD position here at the university. So especially students that are interested in PhDs, uh, they definitely should uh, uh, consider to, uh, to do a research master. So then, the master programs in law, um, also general programs, uh, European Union law, uh, international law, of course, business law, uh, business tax law. Uh, law and technology is one of the, the, the um, most popular programs these days, especially because of these whole European uh, data protection regulations that, that many people are interested in this partic uh, particular field. Although it's not only about data protection, uh, it's more about what, what technologies do for our law systems and, and how law can uh, uh, influence this technology as well. So it's not only very much uh, uh, surrounded about all the law topics, but also things about uh, what technology does uh, from an ethical point of uh, view. Also labor law and employment relations and victimology and criminal justice. Um, and we, last one at least, we have a program on, on public governance. Keep in mind that for most of the law programs, uh, you need to have a bachelor's degree in law in order to get in, but there are exceptions. So for, um, to give you an example, public governance, victimology, uh, but also uh, uh, labor law, um, those are more interdisciplinary programs. Uh, it's partly uh, legal, but it's also partly social sciences. It also means that you can enter those programs with a social sciences background. So. In order to make sure uh, um, what kind of backgrounds uh, you need in order to get into these programs, please check the websites of these programs and you will find the admission requirements there. Um, these are programs of the social and behavioral sciences. Uh, they expanded uh, last couple of years. Um, so they, they basically have some psychology programs, especially economic psychology, which is very unique in the, uh, in the field of psychology. Uh, also work on organizational psychology, which is more connected to human resource studies. Um, we have new program uh, next year, Health, Wellbeing and Society. Um, and uh, as you can see, we also have a few tracks that are related to global management of social issues. Um, and then from a sociology uh, perspective, that's the political policy and societal development but also from an organizational perspective or human research perspective. So here's also uh, some new programs that uh, if you're interested, uh, you can uh, take a look. Um, we have organization studies and also you can see here also two different research masters. Um, the idea behind these masters is the same. Um, they uh, prepare students for a, PPC, a PSD position in the future. So if you're interested in um, doing research to become an academic in the future, definitely check out the research master programs. Then we have a, a master's program in humanities. They basically focus around uh, uh, communications and culture studies. Um, and last years, we also uh, really much developing uh, uh, programs in the fields of cognitive sciences and artificial intelligence. Um, and the, um, let me see. yeah, well, there's now a special program on communication and cognition as well. So you can see that it's, it's not only pure humanities these days, but it's also focused a little bit more on the digital sciences. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's a combination of both of them. So if you're interested in that, uh, please check those as well. Um, then we go to a special section about data science. 
So the whole university offers some programs in this particular field. Um, so the, the, the master data science and societies is more from a humanities perspective, uh, business analytics and operation research is so a data science programs and um, more in the econometrics uh, 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 sphere. And then also we offer data science programs together with the University of Eindhoven and it's called data science and entrepreneurship. And this is especially a two years programs for people who are very much interested in, in the whole fields of the data sciences. All right, then a little bit about the admission and application. Um, of course, uh, in order to apply, you need to have a bachelor's degree in a related field. Um, this can be a little bit tricky. Um, uh, it is necessary in most of the programs that you will have. For example, if you're interested in a business program, um, it's very much necessary that you also have a bachelor's degree in that uh, uh, same field. So uh, if you, for example, have engineering background, you want to do economics or you want to uh, uh, do law, uh, keep in mind that can be tricky. Good thing is that, that sometimes we are a little bit flexible in that, especially if, if your program is, is very much related to it. Maybe it's not exactly the same, but it is related. Uh, then there is a chance that you uh, uh, can have access directly to, a, uh, uh, to this program or via pre-masters. So some of these programs offer pre-masters uh, uh, courses as well. And the good thing is if you not 100% sure, uh, you can still apply to a university because uh, it's free of charge. So we do not ask for an application fee. Um, so if you are in doubt, hey, can I be admitted to a certain program? Um, just apply and check. I mean, that's the easiest way to do that. Um, with all our programs, we need to English, have an English language proficiency test. Uh, so it can be either the IELTS or the TOEFL or the uh, Cambridge C1 or Cambridge C2. And for the programs of economics and management, uh, for the economics programs, you need to have a GRE. And for this uh, GRE, you need a minimum score of 160 for the positive part. And if you are interested in a business program, um, you need to do a GMAT and you need to have a score of minimum, uh, a minimum score of 550 in order to get in. Um, there are some ex uh, exceptions for it, uh, especially if your university is a partner university of Tilburg University, uh, then you can be exempted for the GRE or a GMAT. So if you want to make sure if your university is a partner university, then please check our website. Uh, uh, so go to the program and then click on the admission requirements and you will find there a list of the partner universities as well. So deadlines, um, yes, if you would like to start in the fall of 2019, um, deadline, there's a mistake in the deadline here, I see. Uh, for masters, the deadline is July the 1st. So this is the deadline for non-EU students, April 15. Um, but for uh, uh, the uh, EU students, the deadline actually is the 1st of July. So this is a little mistake in my sheet. Um, some programs also have a, a, an intake in, uh, in spring, so it starts in February, and for that one, the deadline is the 1st of December. Also, of course, um, we work together with Kastu. Um, they are our agent in, in Lithuania and Poland, so uh, if you would like to know more anything about the, the how to apply or any, anything about our individual programs, then of course, you can contact them as well. So last uh, slide, I think, uh, before I will give Adam uh, and, um, yeah, the word to say something about uh, his experiences. Um, is a career perspective after graduation? Um, I think one of the things that we are really proud of is the fact that uh, most of our international students, they will uh, uh, get a job within three months after their graduation. And it can be either in the Netherlands or outside uh, the Netherlands. Uh, as you can imagine that some students they, that they come to our university just for master's programs and then they return to their home country afterwards. Um, some students also have the intention to stay here in the Netherlands and uh, I already um, I told you about the career center who can help you with that. Um, but this is also uh, an option and until these students uh, um, are also uh, um, can also easily find a job afterwards at the moment. So um, 
yeah, for the, the labor market in the Netherlands at the moment is very good. So um, um, I would definitely encourage you, you know, if, if you have the intention to stay here, then, then now would be a good time to, to find something suitable. Um, for a lot of programs, you have the opportunity to write your thesis together with uh, a company. Um, that that's, can be a multinational, and you see on the right side of the slide, you see some of the examples that, that the students uh, uh, worked, but also wrote their theses. Um, as I already mentioned, the, 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 the job market is very good at the moment uh, in this area, so, uh, or in this, yeah, let's say the Benelux area. Um, and the fact is, I think, and that's also an important part of, uh, um of getting a job here um i think the university what, what it does really well is is that it teaches uh, uh subjects more from a multidisciplinary uh point of view and the the labor market more demands this as well i mean they do not only ask for people that only understands law they also would like something that understands law but also in combination with economics or business or um are not only interested in a student that only knows something about sociology, you know, that's, that's, if you want to understand the problem uh, uh, well, then it's, it's always good to, to, to see it from, you know, from different perspectives, like, like, like politics or law or, or uh, social sciences or even, even uh, a business perspective. So this is especially something that our university does really well. So um, that this, this is good uh, 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 if you would like to have a job afterwards. Well, Well, I already saw a question about tuition fees. Well, this is tuition fee uh, um, exactly. Um, well, in the Netherlands, all the tuition fee for European students are the same. So it doesn't matter if you study at our <coughs> university or any other Dutch universities, the the, uh, the fee for European students uh, in the Netherlands is 2,083 euros for academic year 2009-2010. And this changes every year, but it's, it's, it's roughly uh, it goes up like by one or two percent each year. Uh, so next year it will probably be around 2,100 euros. Next to the tuition fee, of course, you need to uh, have some money for uh, living expenses. Um, or roughly, you see here a list of, of things uh, uh, that every student needs, of course. And uh, I think, and I would advise everybody to have at least around 850 euros a month in order to live here and uh and i don't think yeah. I, th I think that that should could be enough uh of course it also depends on your own expenses um but this this, this should be a possibility um next to this it's also possible of course to um, um to get a loan for your tuition fee so this is something that the dutch government offers for uh all the european students uh, you can take a, a, a loan for your tuition fee. So if you cannot afford these 2,000 euros a year, you can take a loan. Uh, afterwards, uh, you can uh, repay it in 30 years. So it's, it's something that, 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 that many students make use of. Um, it's an easy way to get money. You have to repay it, of course, but you have 30 years to do that. Um, so it's, it's very attractive to do it, especially with a low interest rate at the moment. Um, of course, you can also combine your studies with a part-time job. Uh, it is possible to find something here in the Netherlands. Sometimes it's not easy, uh, but there are many uh, job agencies uh, here in Tilburg uh, that also specialize uh, for students. There are a lot of big events here taking place in, in the areas as well, uh, um, where you can, can work as a, 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 for a little part-time job. So um even for internationals that do not understand or, or, or talk dutch it is possible to find something next to your studies well if you want to like to learn more i already told you that before uh something very specific about our programs itself uh you have the opportunity to download our, uh, a personalized uh, uh, uh brochure the idea is if you if you go to this website you click just on the information that you would like to receive so uh, can be about certain programs but can also be about student life finances uh, 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 student life or, or anything that you're interested in um, once you check all those boxes uh, it composes a PDF uh, you can download this PDF or you can just uh, leave your email and it will send to your email address and then you have all the information in one PDF uh, um, and then you don't have to go to the website all the time to, to find all the information, then 
all the information is in, in uh, at one place. Uh, so that's very convenient. So you can uh, uh, always make use of that 24 hours a day. And this is basically my part of the uh, presentations. Um, I will now ask Adam or uh, to tell a little bit about your experiences uh, until we can. Then I will, in the meantime, I will look through the the questions, and then uh, afterwards I will try to answer those questions uh, uh, for you, or we can do that. So let me start by saying that everything that Dennis was saying about the community and the student services um, is indeed true, and I'm saying that from my own um, student perspective. Um, I think the one thing that really um, got to me when I when I came here and I, I was spending my first couple of months here was indeed the community feeling that you have um, on campus and it doesn't matter where you, whether you study economics or you study law or you study um, psychology and um, all of these programs have a very international student body um, which means that a community and a family like setting is created straight away um, and that is something really valuable because, you know, when you come to a new place, to a new city, in a new country, in a new university, um, you want to meet people who are, uh, who are on the same boat as you are. And that's exactly what happens. And as a result of that, you automatically make friends, which make the whole experience um, much, um, much nicer. Um, when it comes to the academic side of things, um, I, can, I can honestly say that it is very different um, than it is, for instance, in Poland, uh, and for the better, uh, if I can put it that way. Um, so the, the approach here, uh, and again, it doesn't really matter whether you do economics or psychology, um, the approach here is very practical, right? So you do indeed go to lectures where the idea is that the lecture transfers um, theoretical knowledge uh, to you. Um, but we also have many so-called work groups and labs where you take initiative and you really re lead the session um, and you really learn from doing. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because it sounds nice, but I'm saying it because that's what I did uh, over the past uh, three or four years that I've been here. Um, the, the case studies and the topics that you work on are also very practical. Uh, they're very hands-on and they sort of happen in real time. Um, so for instance, when, whenever something happens uh, big and it's on the news, um, we would then get to talk about it in, in class. And if you would be doing economics, you would probably analyze from an economic perspective. If you were doing law, so for instance, European law and Brexit, you would analyze that from the, from the legal perspective. Um, if you would be doing what I'm doing, which is a, a, a track in organization studies, you'd probably be analyzing how um, these different organizations come together um, to address that, that challenge, uh, whatever that challenge um, may be. So with that, the university really tries to be, you know, on top of things, um, to put it, um, to put it that way. And on top of all of that, um, I think Tilburg, you know, while, as we said before, it's not London or it's not New York, uh, we won't lie, but I always say that it's, um, you know, it's big enough for you to enjoy yourself. Um, so there's anything that a student from, from anywhere, uh, might need from cinemas through bars, pubs, um, um, concert halls, museums, uh, the festivals. whole parks, festivals, the whole lot. Um, so there are things to do, and at the same time, Tilburg is small enough for you to, you know, accidentally bump into someone that you that you weren't planning on bumping into, and then you just go for a coffee or a yeah. or a beer. So it is a very social, it's a very friendly city, um, and because there are so many students, the 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 city is also very student orientated, um, and you see that at the university, but you also see that. Um, you see that in the um, in the city center, so that's uh, that's very very nice indeed. Um, one other thing that I think is also important to mention because it is unique in a way uh, is our educational profile, where we um, or we where the university pays a lot of attention to so-called soft skills, um, and by soft skills I mean things like interpersonal communication, um, public speaking, presentation skills. So you know. Um, skills and abilities that nowadays are really crucial on the labor market because employers no longer really look for, um, I like to call it tunnel thinking, but you really want to be able to go right, left, straight and back. Um, so this interdisciplinary approach, which is very much a part of, um, of, of, of any program here um, in, in Tilburg. Um, so, I mean, overall, if anyone would ask me to, if I would do the whole thing all over again, uh, I'd probably say yes. 
um, because it's been it's been a really good four years. Uh, so I'm just I'm just about to finish my um, my master's. I'm writing my master thesis uh, at the moment, or at least trying to write it. Um, so it's it's been a really good experience. And you know, if you are considering studying abroad, I think I think the Netherlands is a really uh, is a really good opportunity because it's also not too far away from home. Um, and I think that's also that's also nice to um, to have. I, so I do have a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, well, I, can, I will go through the questions a little bit. Um, um, Thomas is asking how much is the tuition fee. Uh, I think I already explained that. Um, it's about two thousand and eighty-three euros uh, for the next academic year. So this is um, the same price as, as anywhere. There's no differences between the universities when it comes to the tuition fee uh, for European students. So that's, I think, uh, good for you to know. Um, then Aga, <coughs> she's, or he is asking, she, 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 she yeah, she. sorry, uh, she uh, is asking if it's possible to start uh, uh, with a master's in law with a bachelor's degree from a university of applied sciences, if I state that correctly. Um, Yes and no uh, is the answer. Uh, I'm very sorry, this is a tricky one. Uh, we do offer pre-master's programs for uh, law school. Um, only thing is that they are only in Dutch. So uh, basically, if you have a, a, a university or a degree of a University of Applied Sciences at the moment, um, then the only way to, to enter uh, a master's programs of law is to do uh, a Dutch pre-master's program and of course it sounds awful uh, uh, and I agree with that um, at the moment we are looking for options to uh, be able to, to offer uh, pre-master's uh, pre programs in English but until now it's still not there so um, this is basically the answer now and I'm not happy with it but this is, is how it is at the moment. Then Alexander uh, got a question I think this has to do with uh, asking or applying for uh, loans, I think, if I if I'm correct, um, and I'm not 100 sure if I if I understand the question, but the question is more like, hey, is it uh, work? Does it work in the Netherlands the same as is in England when it comes to applying for uh, student loans? Is it yeah, so if, if I, I think I, I yeah. know what the question is about, yeah. I think it's because in the UK you get a tuition fee loan for a whole tuition fee. Yeah, uh, so we don't get the original question. Yeah. Uh, but uh, is there a, there is a loan for the whole tuition fee, maybe something like that? Yeah. I yeah, I think that, that uh, I explained that during my presentation. We do have a, a system that the Dutch government provides a loan for uh, the tuition fee itself. Um, you have to repay it. Uh, that's the thing, but still you can do 30 years. Uh, it can take you up to 30 years in order to do this. So this is this is one of the things that you can get easily. Then there's also some student finances options available as well, which are very much uh, um, uh, administrative in the sense that, uh, uh, well, they needed actually a tool in order to see if you can uh, get this student finance or not. So it's very difficult to explain for what students can, can, can be able to get it and what students cannot get it. Um, if you go to the website of Duo, uh, which is www.duo.nl, um, and you look at international students, then you can see exactly on what way um, the Dutch government uh, uh, provides student loans to international students, and especially for uh, European students. Then there was this last question um, from Thomas, uh, and he asked if it's difficult to find a job as a student. Um, well, uh, also, because this really also depends on the student itself. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I do think that, that, that as an international student, compared to a Dutch student, you will have to put a little bit more effort in it. Um, some, some, some jobs really require to, to, to speak Dutch. You know, yeah, when, when you, for example, work in a shop, uh, then you can imagine that, that, that they would like you to, to speak Dutch as well. But there are many jobs uh, available, I think, for students I mean, you, yeah. it's obviously easier if you speak Dutch, 
uh, but it's not impossible to find something if you only uh, speak English. When I was doing the, the bachelors, um, I had a couple of friends who worked uh, on the side. One was from Venezuela, so you know that's even outside the EU, um, and she worked in one of the bars. Um, a Slovakian friend of mine, she first worked at H&M and now she works at Domino's, oh. um, making pizzas, so no, not delivering, but making pizzas. Uh, and someone else uh, got like an internship in, in like in an, in an IT uh, company. But I've also had friends who who had internships and worked after doing their internship at Philip Morris, for example. Right, right. Yeah. So there are opportunities, but it's not like you know you will arrive and there will be a job waiting for you. Yeah. Right. So you have to look a little bit, just like anywhere else. I would say. You know? Yeah. You yeah. just have to look at, look a bit, but but the options are there. Um. Sometimes there are like student assistant positions at the university as yeah, well, exactly. mm -hmm. uh, from time to time. Um, so that that's a really good option, I yeah. can say from my my um, own experience. And I know that that we we have some really job agencies around here yeah. in Tilburg, and you can go and register there, and they will contact you uh, 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 if they find something that 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 that's also <laughs> uh, possible for non-Dutch speakers. Um, here in the area, there are a lot of events, and for these events, they need just people, yep. you know, in order to 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 help them. We have we have a big uh, um, uh, music event every year uh, uh, in in the area of Tilburg, and um, I know from last year, for example, there were about like twenty five international students that were helping that particular weekend, you know, to make sure that that uh, uh, that, 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 that they were serving drinks or, or coffee or, or making sandwiches or whatever. Um, and also the, the women's football, uh, you're the women's, oh, the, the, the European women's football championships. Tilburg actually hosted a couple of, of yeah. matches. Actually, Holland, well, the Netherlands won it, so it was like a whole big part here. But I, I've had uh, a Hungarian person I know and someone from Russia who worked at the, at the stadium as well. Right. Both before and after and during the event itself. So... You know the options are there. You just have to be proactive and 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 look. Um, yeah, I would say. Yeah, I think I think it's for for, for uh, it's easier for 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 foreign yeah absolutely for foreign student to 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 find a job in the Netherlands and for I think for a Dutch person you know to 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 just find a job in uh, in Poland or in yeah. uh, 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 in Vilnius. Um, so it's 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 you know I think if you really want to you can find it for sure. There's enough to, to do at least. I think those were the yeah. main questions. Maybe you have to scroll. I'm not sure. That's so it all. Yeah, I think I think that was no, I, uh, all the questions. Yeah, if if you have right. anyone from the attendees, uh, if you have any kind of questions, just uh, you can also ask us at Castus or at Castus.pl or LT. Uh, we'll explain everything. If you want to apply to Tilburg University, we will also help you with the whole application process. Uh, and yeah, I think uh, uh, that's that's it. I think. Uh, thank you very much uh, for for oh, for. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, yeah. It was a thank pleasure. You yeah. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully see you again. Yeah. Uh, see you. Too. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye-bye.